I greet you all with peace. I greet you all with love. I just finished my shower, so as I'm waiting for my hair to get dried, the Spirit just led me to share something with you. But this is a very quick fast so forth. Mm. This is an advice to all the single mothers worldwide. It's a very fast one. I don't care what happened between you and that man. I don't care what happened to that marriage. I don't care about the lies he told you. I don't care how he cheated on you. I don't care how he gossiped about you to his friends. I don't care none of those things that he have done to you that lead to your separation with him. I don't care about that. For as long as you and him came together in union and bring out that sacred seed which you carry now as that baby, that act right there, that act of creation right there was act of pure love. A baby can only come out from making of love. I don't care if he slept with you just one time. For a baby to find a way into your womb, you have to understand something. The vagina is a mystical creature of our own. And your womb is the most sacred place in this universe. They don't make mistakes. They don't, they don't fail. You might not understand the energy and the karmic relationship between you and this man. You might not understand the reason why you know this man. But your womb, no. Your vagina, no. So those eggs inside your womb has been there even while you was in your own grandmother's womb. You will shock and say, why do you say my grandmother's womb? I was born by my mother, not my grandmother. Yes, every woman carried the X of their generations and generations and generations within them. So as you are sitting right there watching me, you are a woman. Let's say you don't have a child yet. I want you to know now that inside of you right now there is an egg. And inside that egg, there is an egg. And inside that egg, there is another egg. It becomes so small that your eyes cannot even see them anymore. So your grandmother has been carrying you even while your own mother was still in her womb. These are scientifically proven already. These are not discussion we debate anymore. The whole world knows this one already. But what I'm sharing with you now is this. Mm. For that man to come, because don't forget, the man is not the one that put it. The man come to activate that egg which you carry already. So for that man to come and play that role, there is a connection. There is something in the spiritual realm that ordained it to be so. No child was a bastard. No child is a mystic. No child just happened out of nothing. All those silly excuses of, oh, it was a mistake, and I just want, no, those ones are just interpretation of the level of your own knowledge. What I'm sharing with you now is so deeper. That child right there, that child specifically chose you and him, regardless of how the power or how strong your relationship was. So what I'm trying to share you, with you now is, I don't really care what now lead to the separation of you and that man. But you see that child right there is your responsibility now, dear mother. That child right there 
is yours now. Even if the man don't know himself and he becomes like an idiot and just walk away, don't care. Don't transfer the aggression of the man and start using it on the child. Don't cause the child because you, you hate the father. Don't hate your child because his father promised to marry you, now he never marry you. Don't cause your child because his father promised not to marry two wives, now he have four wives. Don't hate your child because you wanted to graduate and become a doctor because you are not pregnant of this baby. You could not finish your education. Now you see the child as an obstacle, as a barrier that stop you from achieving what was your goal. Don't see that child as something that drags you out of the cycle of your friends. Now make you become that woman always home looking after a baby, a small human creature. Don't see that. You have to know that your own duty as a woman, your spiritual duty as a woman, is to nurture that child now. That child right now is your business. That child right now is your own, is your own destiny to fulfill. That child right now is your own responsibility. I am not saying men should just run and leave it for you because we know your spiritual duty. That's not my point. The point I'm trying to make now is Regardless the attitude of that man, hold your child very close to you. That is you. You are the maker. You are the creator. So that life now is responsible. You are responsible to protect that life now. You are responsible to guide that life now. You are responsible to nurture that life now. Normally, if the man was wise, his duty is to protect all of you. But if he fail, you should not fail. If he fail to be dead, don't you ever fail to play your role. Because you have the power to be the man and the woman at the same time. That's why you are God. You have the strength to raise your home. You have the power to do everything which the man has just failed now to do. So don't belittle yourself and transform your power into hate or jealous or gossip. Instead of you to be strong and rise up and stand for your children to protect them, all you do now is to look for uh, complain, look for lawyer. You want to fight the man. You can do whatever you want to do with him, but don't ever fail to take your responsibility and make sure you secure the destiny and the future of that child. Because when a child is coming to this world, the first place they look at is the sacredness of your womb, even before they connect to their father. So don't ever let go of this sacred responsibility. Don't ever do it. Always be there for your child. Always be there to nurture them. Even if you don't know so much, do research. Try to read. Even if the man fail, the man disappear. Try to read. Don't tell the child bad stories and lies about his father and say to the child. Then if you have the luck and you have a man and you, and you make the baby for a man who at least have a little common sense, then you can profit a lot from it. Draw him closer. Draw him close. Stop judging him. Ignore others' his dirty character that make you leave left him. You know already he's not good for you. That's why you are not with him. So now you that you are not with him, this is not the time now for you to be judging him and being angry at him again. If you are still angry that he left, that means you are still not healed. Because what many of you women don't know is this. <laughs> mm. What many of you don't know is this. 80% of the men you are meeting today are your karmic relationship. You meet to heal, but because of lack of knowledge, you dive deep inside. But no problem. Now life is teaching you lesson. Now you are alone. Then start being satisfied of being alone. Stop hating and being angry. Oh, I am 36. Oh, I am 42. How can you leave me alone with a child? This is not the type of life I wanted. Because of that now, you transform that love you were having for him into hate. And you hate him, it's not even enough. Now you see his children, you see them as something you should hate also. No. 
Because when you are doing this, you are causing that child. You are creating a child trauma for that child. You are destroying the adulthood of that child from this early age. You are creating obstacle for the future of that child. So yes, we know men have to be there. Normal men have to be there. But we also know that some men don't know themselves. So you that have that womb, that carried that baby in that nine months, you that better that baby, you that know how to breastfeed that baby, you that everything within you was there to nurture and protect and protect that baby, you should not give up. No matter what, don't give up. See that child now as your premium. Make sure you raise that child from your best of capacity and knowledge and bring out the best from that child. Even when the father is trying to give you stress. Because some men are like that. When they see you are doing good, you are doing well, now they start envy you. Now they are jealous you have another man. Now they are jealous you don't give them attention anymore. So now they like to give you stress. Unnecessary stress. So now they like to give you different problems. Yes, I know those things are existing. But you have to teach this man, listen, I am the God here. I am the creator here. I am with this child now. Yes, you make this, you gave me this child, but I am in charge now. It's my duty to take care and nurture this child now. I cannot allow you to come with your external energy into our sacred cycle and come and create confusion for us. Me and my child need our own sacred space. If that man is continuing company to create problem, then draw a line where the man cannot penetrate anymore and find peace with your own self. But if you know the man is a good man, because don't forget there are also good men. Yes. There are also good men. There are good men that the only reason why he's not with you is because this is a karmic relationship and a lot of things happen and that was why the relationship just ended and unfortunately you have a baby already there are good men like that <laughs> there are good men like that so those good men right there draw them close transform that love you had for them into a deep sense of friendship transform that love you have for them into a deep sense of understanding make sure you find a balanced ground with him make sure you both of you plan now how to take care and protect and raise this child make sure you reason now especially if your child is a boy he needs a man every boy need a man if not you will raise a sissy you can't raise a man alone so you need that man to come close if his head is correct you need that man to come close and when you know he's a good man don't manipulate him emotionally because what is going on right now is so many women use the children as also tools they want to suck your money. You pay and pay and pay. They are not satisfied. They want to control your emotion just because they know you love your children. Just because they know you cannot stay without your children. They want to make you their prisoner. They want to make you their toy which they control. Because many are just jealous. Look at this man. You make me pregnant. You now have a baby. I'm alone with a baby. And you are home with another woman. You think you will have a beautiful life. No. You have to let go of those thinking my dear lady. Let go of those thinking, accept life the way it is. Take life the way it is. See it like, oh, mm, okay, we have both played our part, but this is a train. So he has stopped in his own stop, but my train is still moving. In this case, that train is not just moving alone. Your trainer is moving with a part of him because you have to be ready to accept the sad reality. And the sad reality here right now is for as long as you live, the parts of that man will forever live with you. So don't think eh, you block his contact, you put him to jail, or if you are in Europe, you make them deport him. Now you are the madame, you are in charge. You are putting the life of that child at risk because the ancestral relationship between that child and the father is important. The connection between him and the land that man come from is important. So regardless the attitude of the man, don't deny the child his own ancestral inheritance regardless the attitude of the man don't deny the child the connection with his own father know that yes 
I make a baby for a stupid man. It's okay, just accept that reality. But the fact now is, this baby is a beautiful child. This baby is incredible child. This baby is so wonderful. I can't trade this baby for nothing in this world. So because of you, my beloved child, I will protect you and guide you. So if the man have toxic energy, yes, take the baby far from him. That I can say. But if the man is normal, if the man just have maybe this ordinary bad character, you not know, just know himself, no problem. You know yourself as a woman and protect your own daughter or your own son. Yes. You cannot be angry that your father don't know himself and you, the mother, you also don't know yourself. You put them in front of TV and you are on phone gossiping with your friend the whole day. Every second word you say, you insult the father. If you keep on insulting the father of a baby in front of the baby, you are cursing that child, not the father. Because that child is the one hearing it. You have to know what is going on here. You see many of uh, Africans... Especially Nigerians in diaspora, they have turned they have turned the the, the the law in Europe into a kind of a, a system they want to use to profit them. You see, women now just want to sleep with a man. Why she need baby? Why she believe if she have baby, government will give her a house and she can be alone. She don't even love the man. She knows she don't love the man, but she just need the baby now. So now you use the man to breed. And you expect your life to be good for you. So if you're also that type of man who just say, ah, let me just, ask, I love this woman, let me cage her with pregnancy. Don't forget there are men like that. They believe, Ooh, this woman, if I can just make her pregnant, I will cage her for life and she will not have anywhere to go. No, it's just nine months. After nine months, she will offload. After she offload, after three months, everything refresh again. The vagina is a very mystical creature. It can always reshape itself and change shape and shift itself and become something like never been touched. So you can cage her. You can only cage her for a while. After a while, in the first one year, she have a little baby in her hand. She can't do so much. After the second year, third year, now she's shaking. She's shining again. Her baby is jumping now. Now boys are running behind her. Now she have a new boyfriend now. Then if you are that woman, your new boyfriend, you must discipline him. Don't make the same mistake first time, second time, third time, fourth time. When you make one mistake more than three times, then it's not mistake anymore, it's stupidity. You cannot be bringing random men into your home when you know there is a child in that home. You have to first think for the protection of that child before you do that. Don't just transfer the aggression. Hey, I'm alone. I'm a single mother. I can do whatever I like. No, you cannot do whatever you like because the head of that child needs to be protected. Every man you bring into that house, your child is absorbing their energy. So if you are not that type of woman who sleep with men who don't have brains, who don't know themselves, then you will, you will, you will end up raising a child who don't have nothing in their head. You have to understand energy. You are free to sleep with whoever and whenever you want, but don't bring them home. Don't bring them home. Before you bring a man home, when you have a children, make sure you are sure. Make sure you know. Make sure you have confirmed. Make sure you know their energy already. You understand their energy already. You know how they think already. Then you are welcoming them home. And don't introduce them to your son and say, this is my uncle. No, tell your son, this is a man. I like him. I'm trying to date him and see if maybe we can work something out. Make sure your children know their position and they know the position of the man so that mentally, spiritually, physically, they can still know how to protect themselves. If you just bring a man today and say, okay, this is your new daddy. No, you are lose guarding yourself and that child, especially female children. So as a single mother, my advice for you is seek for self-knowledge before you even seek for a new man. That's my advice for you. Because your self-knowledge will bring out the God in you and you will be the one in charge now of this man. The men are your creation. You are the God here. The men don't like to hear this. Oguna men don't care what they like to hear. But this is the truth here. A woman like you puts them in their own womb. And all womb on earth are connected. 
So you are not different from the mother. He, he might be emotionally attached to his mother, but you are just as his mother. In fact, even fresher and newer than his mother. So you have to know your position as a woman. You have to know your divine power as a woman and know how to use this to position the life around you. People ask me, Ogunami, why do you always uh, uh, focus your energy on educating women? It be like say you like women well. I say, yes, of course I like women well. well. Of course I like women well, but I'm not so, so shy to say that. <laughs> I'm not so, so shy to say that. But the main reason why I was shining so much energy on the sacred divine feminine energy is this. When you educate one woman, you are educating full generation. When you educate a man, you are educating one person. So if you want to educate a man, they have to be pair. Then you know you are working. If you are educating one one man, you don't go too far. That's why your churches are not helping. That's why all these institutions are not helping. Because they are educating an individual. Let's flood the mind of the women with sacred knowledge so they can heal everything around them. If she have knowledge, any man who sleep with her will be healed. So if I know that, if I do catch you as a woman, you can heal any man who sleep with you, then I will flood your mind with knowledge and advise you to sleep with 10 men for me. That means you heal, you, you, you make the healing process faster. So we have a lot of reasons why we are saying woman is girl. People don't understand, especially some, <laughs> some men. Their knowledge and their ego make them stronger and drag and fight with this thing. The mother earth is a woman. The universe is a woman. The nature around you, everything recreates and reproduces. These are feminine energy. Yes, the man is important. The job of the man is to create the balance. But then when the man is not there, she can also balance her own self. That's why don't kill yourself. Ma, I leave you a nice woman with good heart because of the way it left you. Now you don't become beasts. Now you never look for Babalawa to sell medicine for you. Now you look for pastor to go kill the man. Now you look for armed robber talks to go pay money, cut his, may they go cut off his penis. Now you hate and despise the man. Uh, I don't date him five years and you leave me like that. No. No. That was a lesson to show you something. Some of you need to know yourself first before you even think of dating a man. If you don't have this knowledge, you will think you need a man first before you should know yourself. You are the primary deity. Without you, no life is existing. So you have to know that you are first in line. Like I said, it's a very fast Quick soul food. I want my hair to dry so I don't want to sweat. And later I have to shower again and my hair will never dry. <laughs> so I will end it here now. I wish you a nice day. We will see you again very soon. Bye bye for now. But if you are a single woman out there, single mother, please, for the sake of the head of that child, Forgive everything that man did to you. Not because he deserves your forgiveness. Not because he deserves it. But for the head, for the sake of the head of that child. Because you know what will happen if you keep on blocking his number and not picking his cause? Do you know what will happen to your precious beautiful baby you are holding in your hands now? Do you know what will happen? 40 years from now, let's say it's 2 years now. 40 years from now, he will be 42. Then you are already a grandmother. And he will start having childhood trauma. He will start having those pains of the absence of his own father. He will start having those pains of his absence, of those quarrel you are quarreling now. All this trauma noise you are shouting now. You go court, you fight, you push him, push you, you now knock each other. This one do this, this one do this. You use vaccination, carry random boys, come has say all the name of you want protest, say that you get your body if you do whatever you like. Your child, 40 years from now, will be sitting and crying because of his childhood traumas. 80% of men today carry childhood traumas. 
80% of women today carry childhood traumas. They never really had parents who were so oriented and who understand energy and know how to protect the energy of their children. But now that you are having access to this knowledge now, profit from it. Save your child now and protect his future from those childhood traumas that will traumatize him, if not careful, for the rest of his life. So social welfare no reach where you take because of that one, one, one saga. Benefit is not enough because of that one you want to fight. Call your lawyer. Tell your lawyer to forgive and rest. Call the man. Tell the man I forgive you because of your child. Tell your child now it's me and you. Let's us move on with life. Then if the man is caring and showing love, don't use that child as a tool to manipulate him. Accept that care, no matter how little it is. Accept that love, no matter how little it is. This does not mean you don't know yourself. This does not mean you don't know the laws. This does not mean you don't you are not smart, you don't know how to do things. It just means you love your child so much and you are protecting him from ending up in, with having childhood traumas when they become adults tomorrow. So when you want to fight with a father, go far from the child. Don't even let him hear it. But your, your child is always connected with you anyway. He can still feel it, but it's far better than you just bombarding the head with it. So this is really what I want to share with you. Share the message. You don't know a baby you are will be saving now. 40 years from now, you don't know a man you will be saving from a childhood trauma today. I work with so many people. And I can tell you, majority is just carries childhood traumas. And trust me, the healing process is deep. And healing is expensive. <laughs> so, so you have to know all these things. Protect your child. Protect your child. Do it for your child, not for the man. And if your family think you are not smart enough, cut them off. If your friends think, hey, what is what are you doing? Don't you see the way I treat my baby father? Cut her off. Be ready to go against what the society is trying to position you to do. If you like, they call your names, no problem. Know that these are sacrifice for your beloved child. Heal yourself from his disappointment. Heal yourself from his lies. Heal yourself from his betrayal. Don't put that energy, don't involve that child. That child is an innocent soul. I don't know who, which of you is need to hear this now, but I know somebody right now, you needed to hear this to help you make your decision. But please, make the wise decision. If not, you'll be a grandmother and your 42 years old boy will not lie down in your arms and be crying because of the childhood traumas you are creating now today. This is deeper than just emotion. This is deeper than pride. Let's go and be ready to sacrifice. Yes, be ready to sacrifice. There is price to pay. So be ready to sacrifice for your child now. It's better than later now buying different, different things just to heal them. Help them now so they will grow free from those traumas. Bye-bye for now.